What's going on, friends? What's up, gamers? And welcome to Drillcast 132. I'm Truaz with me, Mr. J Spin. What's going on? Nothing. Chilling. Yeah, how was how was your Valentine's? Um, it was romantic. Yeah, I didn't receive any chocolates from you. Well, yeah, you're one my Valentine. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh, no show last week, but whatever. Scheduling and snow and stuff. But we're back. That was not a, not a valid excuse. It wasn't, but I'm going to let it go as that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's, what's going on? What, are, what have, what have you been playing? Um, you could just, you could just stop recording now. If you <laughs> want. <laughs> we played games, man. No, th- thanks we, for listening, we did, guys. <laughs> we did a couple things. <laughs> oh, I guess we did. I don't, I don't remember everything. <laughs> Also, it must have been a real, real good Valentine. <laughs> no, it's just, I don't know. I don't really pay attention. I don't like, you know, I go to go do things. Like, I don't always remember, like, I always forget things like I've played or whatever. And Yeah. I don't know. I've, all right. So, all right. Let me, let me kick things off and then we'll go off from there. Right. Okay. So I played in my first, like, pro gaming, what would you, esports fucking association game thing. Right. First I think match ever. Just called tournaments. I played in a tournament, <laughs> and, they, and they've had those before. <laughs> esports was a was a, a gimmick, like a, a term, you know. <laughs> so I I participate. I part- ladders. Took, I part no, because a ladder is a ladder considered a tournament. I think so. Yeah. Really? 100%, 100%. I mean, be- no, because you're not, not matched up with anyone. It's like, hey, I want to play against this person, or hey, I want to challenge this team, and then you move up on the ladder. So you issue uh, a challenge and then you move up on the ladder, um, or it could randomly be generated yeah. to, for you to face somebody. But it's it's a ladder. It's not like at the end of the thing, there's no winner. How sure. can I say this? Nobody gets eliminated. There's a winner determined on how much you're playing, I guess. Right? I think it depends on the rules of that. I mean, you can make uh, an elimination, like you know. But what I mean? then at that point, I think it becomes a tournament. Yeah, same thing. Mm, I don't know. I I think I disagree. Okay. Because a, to- a, a tournament would be like one and done or like winner's bracket, loser's bracket, and then we meet up at the end for third, second, and yeah. first. Right? As opposed to a ladder, it's like keep playing, keep challenging, be the best that you can, keep winning, and then at the end, your hard work pays off. Oh, I mean, your hard work pays off regardless of what you're doing. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> completely fucking derailed, but so I partook in a, in a tournament, and uh, let's just say we got destroyed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, like first off, we we were about thirty minutes late because one of our friends who our fifth, who I don't know him personally. None of us know him personally. He's like a friend of a friend. Yeah. He's the only one who so the tournament is 18 plus, which is unfortunate because we have plenty of others who are like 17 who could have played, but it's 18 plus. They can none of them could play. The Why one not guy just have the kid who's 17 play anyway and be like, this is our 18 or our fifth. So when you register on the site, it automatically like says what their age is. Like obviously mm-hmm. you make an account and birthday is required. So unless okay. from the jump they made an account and said, "Hey, I am this age," then but that wasn't the case. Why didn't you just have people do that? Uh, it, they just didn't. Just uh, didn't go. Didn't it just didn't work out that way? You guys, you guys didn't plan to do things like that. We didn't plan to 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 cheat the system, if that's mm. what you're asking. <laughs> yeah. Um, we wanted to play as legit as possible, and we did, and we got completely destroyed. Uh, to the point. Oh well. All right. So. Back to what I was saying. We don't know this guy. We have no idea. The tournament started at 2 o'clock. Oh, so this is in Siege, Rainbow Six Siege. This is, yeah. To be, mention yep. that, yeah. I yeah. didn't. So, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, So, we don't know this guy. He works, like, maybe... He said he works, like, 10 minutes away from his house. He's like, I'm just going to finish my stuff and run home. I'm like, what time do you get out? He says 2 o'clock. I'm like, wait, that's the time of the thing. So, you're going to be 10 minutes late. Turns out he was about a half, like, maybe 40 minutes late. And it got to the point where the other team is hitting me up like, hey, where's your fifth? I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. Like, we're going to play like we'll forfeit if you guys want the quick win. 
but we'll play with four people if you guys want to go ahead and allow us to do that right does that make sense so of course it does four v five right or we'll just forfeit like do you want to actually play us or do you want to just take the w right naturally you know they didn't give us a hard time they were like oh we really want to see uh rainbow six siege you know progress in esports and blah 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 so that's cool like you know just make sure that it doesn't happen again we'll say that you have the fifth we'll let it go whatever i'm like all right cool we played and you play as four we no he shows up right as the match was about to start and i told the guy he goes no don't worry about it it's cool it's fine it's all right Shows up, we finally get a game going, and we get skunked. Like, 0-5, I think, is what it was. Yeah. We lost every... So, it's not like it even mattered. Like, we should have just forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> no communication. We maybe together, like, together, all five of us played maybe one or two matches beforehand. Yeah. But I think three of us played... And no- the way we saw it was <clears throat> three of us play enough that the other two don't really matter, right? Like, that's kind of how, how I saw it. Like, okay. the other two, like, not not that they don't matter. Obviously, you know, bodies are bodies. But we played enough that we communicate well with each other to the point that we'll be able to do shit. Dude, it was completely backwards. <laughs> like... I ended up like throughout the entire thing, everybody got one kill. I ended up with three, three like kills. Yeah. Nobody did anything. Like it was p- probably one of the worst games I've ever been a part of. Why did nobody do anything? What do you mean? I I don't know. I in my mind, I'm like, wow, you guys really, like, I, like here's what I think. They got so like hyped up and they were like all you know excited and shit that they're like, holy fuck, this is for real, like. This is a like actual tournament. Like we're we're playing in this tournament, and then they're just like, "Fuck it, we're just not like we're like." I don't want to say that they got scared. That's not what I'm trying to say, yeah. but they must have felt like pressure because it was that because it was a oh. tournament. I don't know if that oh. makes any sense. Oh uh, yeah, sure, it makes sense. I think that's kind of what happened. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I, I don't know, man. It was it was interesting, like. First off, the build up to it was cool. Like I, I, you know, I had fun. It was fun. I want to do it again. It's every week, but obviously with Valentine's last week or yesterday, uh, we didn't partake in that one. But there's, I think, two more uh, next two Sundays. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I want to record some more of those. Uh, hopefully, none losing again. I was like, you guys better look at this screen because you got to upload a screenshot, mm-hmm. or the winning team uploads a screenshot of the the results. Yeah. And the, <clears throat> the losing team has to go in and confirm that that is exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I, just looking at the 0 and 5, I'm like, ugh, that hurt. Like, yeah. really bad. So I was like, you know what? Like, I took a screenshot of it myself. And I was like, you know what, guys? Like, this can't happen again. Like, if we're going to play, like, fucking go in and play and don't give them an easy win. Like, I should have just forfeited from the jump. But you it, didn't it know that. It was a complete waste of time. Well, yeah, no, that's true. But, it, it, oh, man, it was just so bad. I got so I mean, pissed off. I mean, you might play that same team three more times and lose each time the sure. same th- same way. I mean, who knows, you know? Nobody really knows. Yeah. But you but, guys, you were saying before, though, like, before you guys even got into the tournament, you would hop into ranked and you would win, like, one out of three or one out of four or something like that. I mean, it definitely got better. It 100% yeah. got better. We were winning a lot more games. I think my ratio on ranked right now, it's, like, a two or about to be a two. It's, like, a 1.9 or something like that for win-loss. Mm-hmm. So it definitely picked up. You know, it got better. Um, what I started seeing a lot more when playing, not ranked, when I when we were playing casual, yeah. I started seeing a lot of uh, flawless victories. They were me and uh, Jake. I believe Juan went on like a like a four flawless victory like sweep. You know, mm-hmm. just back to back to back, and then we switch it up to to ranked, and you know maybe not a not a not a flawless, but still enough to to notice like there's been a difference like we've played enough that we get the game yeah uh so the problem now is not even us the problem now is the game itself uh there are so many bugs but all of those should be fixed actually 
by Tuesday, which is when the podcast comes out. So by the time you listen to this, if you're listening on the Tuesday that it is released, then all of those issues should, in theory, be fixed. But, dude, some of the issues right now, there's a, there's a glitch called Black Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. That's what the kids on Reddit are calling it. Your oh, entire me. character turns black like like a shadow. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the scariest fucking thing. Uh, it's it's funny, man. There's that. Uh, there's a glitch where one of the, the operators holding a shield, his head pops up just a little bit slight. Like, just, you could, like, if you aim, like, dead on to the tip of the shield, you can get a headshot, even though there's a shield there. So that yeah. needs to get fixed. Obviously, if you're holding a shield, it, you, you should be covered, right? Like, your head yes. should be one of the main things covered. So there's that. And then there's also um, headshots. It's a pretty big issue. There's certain operators where if you shoot them in the head, it takes like two or three headshots before they actually fall. So, mm. and that's, I mean, it shouldn't be like that in any game. If you get a headshot, you get a fucking headshot. You should instantly die. So, um, so yeah, that's that's my, my, my siege my siege roundup for this week. <laughs> cool stuff. Um, so, moving on, uh, we played... I don't know where you want to start. Gigantic? Yeah, sure. Uh, now that it's open and out there. So we play Gigantic together. Um, oh, that's what we should. Crossplay works fucking flawlessly, I thought, right? I saw yeah. no issues. Yeah, so you're talking about playing between Xbox One and PC and Gigantic is what you're... Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what you're referencing. What, what are they calling it? Is, is it not crossplay? Yeah, but I mean, just to clarify, because you started okay. talking about gigantic, and then you're like, oh, but there's, <laughs> it, it just want to make sure that, you know, people listening are understanding. Clear. Yeah, what, what you're referencing. So we played gigantic. I don't remember the name of the characters. I had some life stealing mage yeah, I don't thing. Know. Not many um, of them are available. You have to, like, unlock them with credits or something like that, I think. So, it is. so yeah, games in, in beta, it's not open beta, right? It's still, pro like, public, private. I think it's still private beta. I think it's still it by is. Invite, yeah. Like, you still need a code, yeah. Yep. I think so. And, um, yeah, I don't really know. They they introduced a lot of changes. So, back from when we played the first time. I don't. Maybe not the first time. Maybe when we played at home for the first time, after PAX. I never right? played that. I never played after PAX. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it was always, like, random hours. Yeah, you know it I mean? was a scheduled... Yeah, so that's what I wanted to get at. So, before, it was, like, scheduled testing... Now yeah. it's open whenever, just go in and play. And the beauty of it is because it's um, cross-play or whatever you want to call it, um, you match up with people on either PC or on Xbox One, which is amazing because that means there's a bigger audience. There's more... You'll wait less in matchmaking to get a match going. Because sure. for, for whatever reason, back when, the, when I played, when I first played after PAX at home, I believe it was strictly only for... Uh, like if you were on PC, it was just PC, or on Xbox, yeah. it was just Xbox. Cause well, I don't know, we it, never tested it, but I mean, we never tested it. But I remember waiting at least easily like ten minutes for one match. Yeah, but and also, like I said, it was it was time, like specific times. It was yeah, like, so not everybody. I can't make that. You know what That's I mean? That's true. It just didn't work out. So it's like I'm somebody who could have been playing, but since you were you know, at work or doing or taking care of stuff else. or yeah, life, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I get it. So, but what'd you think? I mean, gameplay wise, from back when we played it at PAX till what a couple days ago, what do you? What uh, do you think? Gameplay feels the same. Doesn't feel any different. Frame rate on Xbox One is, seems a little choppy, though. Mm. Um, they really need to fix that. And also, at times when there were big battles, it was hard to tell. At least on Xbox One, I don't know if it's different on PC. I wouldn't think it's different PC. I'm imagining same code base, but it was difficult to tell. Like, who was who, who was where, and who was hitting who type thing. What was you know? going on. There's just so much going on during yeah. the big battle. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just really difficult to see what's going on. So, like, I would either pick one. So, the character I had, I don't remember the character's name either, but I could either I have a, a healing beam or I have, like, a hurting beam. So, it doesn't steal health to me. It just, like, hurts them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, one or the other. I could either heal my teammates or hurt enemies. So whenever there was a lot of guys, I would just kind of try to get... a general idea of how many if there were like more of my teammates or you know what I mean more enemies on like what I wanted to do so like mm -hmm. if I had a lot of teammates in the area or maybe or like we're outnumbered or something then I would just hold down the heal button and just try to heal everyone that I could you know what I mean yeah. just like whatever <laughs> just and <then> if, aim yeah. wherever <laughs> yeah and if there was like you know an opportunity to hurt somebody then it's like yeah okay use the little the hurt beam um, 
But I mean, other than that, it made it kind of difficult to know what's going oh, on. Right. Yeah, and also the whole it's, the skill trees, they were like they made them pretty simple to do. You know, it's easy to just go across and it's stuff. It's a but, legit tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but unless you know the character, like I spent a lot of time sitting there reading. and reading. Yeah, like what's what? And it's like, well, I don't know. Do maybe I want this one or something? It's just not that quick. So I just thought of this. I'm you know if we go back and reference Ermac. Like, Ermac mm-hmm. was pretty simple after the first few times you played. The pictures just said a lot. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like, okay, I want this, this, or that. And then after that, it was just you just would go through really quick and do it with a controller. It was super mm-hmm. easy. Um, so, like, that's a, an example of a good implementation of... But I feel like you will get and... that eventually in this. So Right, you will, but it's just like, I'm going uh, to have to play with that character a few times to just learn yeah. that character. You know what I mean? And then oh, by yeah, the time you... Then... Yeah, and by the time like you you try different combinations of stuff, it's like yeah, maybe like ten matches, you know. Yeah. Considering With one you guys character. don't. Yeah. Apply yeah. that times however many characters there There's are. There's a and lot of trying. characters. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's considering you don't get wrecked, and also that you can level up your character like all the way, and you get to really like, you know, try different things. It's not like you can just go somewhere and try all of a character's abilities, and yeah. see what they do. It's like you have to get to that level nine on your character or whatever to get whatever the last bonus thing is on the, you know, because there's like. Dude, there's different it's kind of split or whatever yeah there's skills and then there's ca- like character like attributes yeah that's what it is yeah so it's just you know it, it's a lot to go through and really really do to learn and, and figure out i yeah. think the character attributes for the most part are generally the same there are pictures on those where it's like a sword which obviously more damage or a shield right. which obviously it's defensive yeah. um but there are a couple of random ones where it's like if you use this skill, uh, you gain more of this. Or if you're using your focus, you'll gain more stamina back or something like right, that. Right, right, So right. those always vary. So there still is a, a learning curve there. Yeah. I don't know. Just playing playing in a PAX for some reason, maybe because there's somebody sitting next to you telling you telling like, you what, what everything do. is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it made it easier to do, but I don't know. The skills change, like... though, 100%. Because yeah. I remember in PAX, I was playing with uh, the sniper character that I... I uploaded a video on, and that's actually from before the the, the beta. So, um, I want to compare the skills between them, or I went and compared the skills between them because there's a website that has like all of the older ones mm-hmm. from the beta versus the newer ones, and it's it's all different. So, uh, they definitely are balancing or tweaking all of that stuff out, um, which I mean, good, you know, you definitely yeah. need that. Um, couple of things that i don't know if you noticed um they introduced these cards uh, um, fortune cards i might have saw that so basically in this i is, saw like boxes or something like yeah you know, boxes i don't know inside of yeah so those boxes you, basically it's like a it's called fortune i think it's called a fortune card actually but when you go and you get one daily so you go in and you redeem one and then whatever it is it tells you it gives you a challenge that you have to go in and perform in the game and you can hold i think it's like six or seven of them. i don't know you can hold a couple of them and the only issue that i have with them so i looked at it and i'm like oh this is cool i could do this challenge so i go and i play i'm working on the challenge and i'm in my it, like in my mind i'm like word I, I got this challenge i'm gonna get some bonus coins right yeah. also another addition because all of the characters were unlocked when we originally played as opposed to now it's they're doing the same we thing that packs though too so exactly well I mean, they're gonna even, have all even yeah. afterwards when i played originally oh, okay. uh, at home everything was unlocked so uh, it's kind of hard to, to judge it so let's say pre nda and post nda <laughs> sounds good so pre nda everything was unlocked uh Every, you, you got everything. There was no need for credits or coin or whatever, right? Yeah. Post NDA, everything is locked. They're doing the same thing every MOBA does where uh, your your characters are locked, your champions are locked, and every week there's a rotation and they switch out you know, so that you can try them all out, but they're just free until the week is up. And then yeah. you, you, know, you have to buy them with you know, your, your coins or whatever. So post NDA, that's what's going on. So the character that I normally like playing with is unavailable. So as I'm doing these fortune cards, so one of the fortune cards that I got was to level up your, you know how you can level up your base? Like 
the little nodes that you capture. Yeah. You can level those up using focus. I had a uh, a bonus that was like level up three in, like different ones with three different focus. So one focus on each thing or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So I did that. And then I go back and I'm not getting the credit. It still says zero. And then I reread the card. Each card has a character's Searcher. picture on it. Yeah. Which is so frustrating because yeah. now I have to save up my coins to buy this character to do this challenge. So it's like yeah. a tier within a tier. Like it, it's annoying. Like there's now I have to save up and buy this character. Yeah. I look at how much the character costs. It's like 24,000. Each match you get like 500, 500 if you yeah, win. Yeah. Like something low. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, and the matches are pretty long. Right. Yeah. The matches are 10 pretty minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 15 minutes. Yeah. About 15 minutes each. That's kind of long. Yeah. You know, maybe not, obviously not as long as like a League of Legends match if you know what you're doing, but still pretty long for, for, for a game, you know, for, for this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I didn't, I didn't like that you have to unlock certain things with those characters. Um, it should have just been like generic challenges and right. with those generic challenges, you gain more boost to be able to unlock these characters and who cares, you know, cause when you, when you get, when you get your daily treasure card or whatever, mm -hmm. you get to pick one of three. So out of the three, I feel like it should be like a, like a, like a easy to hard. So the easy one should be generic. The medium one should be either or. And then the third one, the hard one should be a character based one. So sure, if you I have mean, this character, then you you can pick this challenge because I'm not going to pick that card. Now that I know, I'm like, right. oh shit, I, I'm, I don't have this character. I'm not going to pick this card. Fuck that card. Right. Well, it should be at least characters that you have. You know? Or that, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know. That really bothered me, and I think that's going to be a feature that's here to stay when the game officially launches. Um, maybe it'll get tweaked. Uh, a lot of the game is being tweaked. Uh, so, we'll we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. But, you yeah, playing on, playing on PC. You can go leave feedback no, if you want. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had no issues, uh, no issues on PC. I, I thought it was just as fun as when I initially played it. Uh, hectic. Definitely hectic. Uh, I got that feel as well. But I think with i mean i've played smite and it's just the same it's just as insane <laughs> yeah um what else got me i don't know oh your buddy the bear what well, buddy the bear oh we uh, played um home front <laughs> terrible yeah. home front uh what's it called home front revolution the revolution yeah we're just revolution, revolution home beta front, home front revolution yeah so we, we played that, that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did play that. I disliked this game so much. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I played the original Homefront, and this is, I think, the moment Jack realized I buy into hype a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> it probably was about that time. Yeah. I think it was around this time because I remember clearly we were discussing it in this very fucking podcast. Yeah. We're like, somebody must have, like, somebody's cashing in favors for this for this game because the yeah. marketing is fucking out there. Yeah. And, boy, like, I played it. You know what? It was, it was a, sh it was a shitty campaign. It was an okay, very just okay multi. Nothing, you know, everything was already done. Everything had already been done on previous uh, first-person shooters. It wasn't innovative. It, it brought nothing to the table, basically, right? Yeah. Besides that, it was it was just another another um, first-person shooter. That that's it. You know, yep. very clunky, whatever. Fast forward to now. <laughs> I don't know when the original one came up, but fast forward to now, and it feels um, the same. Like four years ago, maybe I don't know. That was a four. That was four years ago. If I'm, I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm just ah, guessing. Man, I don't. I don't think so. But all right. But regardless, fast forward came to now. March 2011. So five, five years, years ago. Holy shit! <laughs> That's crazy. That's insane. So. <laughs> Five years later, they released this game, and it is pure just dog shit. <laughs> You're such a hater. I'm sorry, man. You're I, such a hater. This, dude, even for a beta, it was just bad. Like, yeah. the, oh, man, the, 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 what are called? The markers that tell you where to go are just awful. Oh, they're right. 
It they're just, right. Just one not of them is right. underground. <laughs> That's all. It's like no, but it's like that for a lot of the the levels too. You only played that one level. There's a couple levels and all oh, of them have had just dumb levels. things like that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's just full of that stuff. And then there's things that are un- that are locked that you can't even access, but it shows you like the emblem, so you feel like you can access it. So even if you try to figure it out, you can't. It, like what? The there's like TVs that you're supposed to turn into like bombs or some shit like that. Oh, I'm, I'm there's like seeing a little the cell phone. Had, yeah, the cell phone. Thing yeah, I you was can like... do stuff to that, and you could. I think you can scrap like the TV and gain like pieces so that you can make your your bombs okay. and stuff. Um, there, there's like a bunch of things like that, and it, it's not even unlocked. Like, why give me the option if it's not even fucking available? <laughs> um, and just it's just clunky. It just feels very stiff. Like, ugh, I hated it so much. Um, all of the AI are just fucking dumb. <laughs> like, you oh, can they're stand not that from, dumb. I mean, so when when you change the difficulty from like easy to normal. Mm-hmm. The the difficulty it feels like really hard because the one we were playing was on normal and that shit was hard. I don't even want to know what hard is actually like. Yeah. Because we struggled with this one and that was well most of it was that figuring was out what to do. So yeah, so then you run into run into the issue of not knowing what to do. You run into the issue of trying to figure out what your weapons do or what your your like grenades. Grenades are yeah. a pretty big thing. And, you know, they, you have, like, hacking grenades that, like, take over enemy tanks or whatever. And those are cool, you know, for a little bit. And then it just wears off. And you're like, fuck, like, I, I got to destroy this. And then we figured out you have to shoot the, what is it, like, a propane tank or something? I, I call them propane tanks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Little tanks in the back of the tank. and Little barrels in the back of the tank that you got to shoot in order to, to blow them up faster, destroy them faster. Um it just felt clunky, but the the worst thing about this game was the uh, the reward system. So there, you earn money for. I mean, just for playing, you earn money for completing it. You gain bonus like cash, yeah. And then you redeem that for for I don't even remember. You redeem it in the armory, and there's like cosmetic, there's weapons, and there's attachments, and there's one more that I can't remember. And each one has a different dollar value from like a thousand. It's like less than, I think it's from a thousand to two thousand, if I'm not mistaken. And you go in, you, you, it's, it's fucking Black Ops 3, it's CSGO with the keys and the black market. You buy one and you get a, a slot machine that generates either a, like, I don't know, depending on what you buy. Let's say you buy a gun, you get a gun and maybe like an attachment and some junk. And by junk, I mean materials to build, like, your little shrapnel shrapnel bomb, whatever, right? So you get that. Or for attachments, you get two attachments and junk. And that's it. Like, yeah. you, it's it's a random... Like, there's a ch- I don't know if there's a chance for you to get the same thing over and over again, but I don't think there's enough combinations of attachments per weapon that requires this system to be implemented, you know? Right. I mean, how many how many sights can you have on a sniper rifle, right? Like, ideally, you should only need either one or two, or none at all, if you want to fucking just aim, you know, use the iron sights. Yeah. So, there's that. And then, I mean, yeah, I, if you look into, the, like, the armory, you can see how many guns there are. But even at that rate, like... You have a, a an assault rifle and a scope that works for an assault rifle. Shouldn't it work for all of the assault rifles? No, not necessarily. It's like that in a lot of games. Uh, it's because you have a scope doesn't mean it goes on every gun you have. But if it's meant for an assault, like specifically for an assault rifle, it doesn't matter. There's different types of assault. Like if I have a, a literal, like I have a gun, like in real life, mm-hmm. it's assault rifle, and I buy a scope for it. Doesn't mean that that scope is also going to work on another assault rifle. Uh, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's yeah. just, but there, but still, even at that point, once you unlock it, why am I gonna still spend money on this thing? Right. Just to gain the the junk or the the, yeah. the materials. That's what I want to call it, materials. Yeah, yeah. Just to gain materials, like no, I'm not gonna fucking. I'll just go out and play the game and just fucking farm for it. I'll look for it. I'll scavenge. There we go. Yeah. That's the word. Um, 
so that I don't know, man. And so many games are going into this direction too that it just really sucks. Because I don't agree with that. Gigantic with the fortune cards, I, I disagree with that. Homefront with this shit, I disagree with that. Black Ops with the the supply drops and the black market keys and all that, I I don't like. I don't. I hate it. I don't mm-hmm. like a slot machine. I, if you're gonna fucking pay me money for playing a slot machine, then pay me money for playing a slot machine, right? Okay. I, I want I want a chance to win money. If I'm playing a fucking video game, either tell me I earned it, tell me I won it, or just don't give it to me at all. Like, just fucking just don't even tease me with it because I'm gonna want it and but I'm not gonna spend fucking money I know that people will spend money on it but it, no like that it shouldn't be that way man it uh, that just sucks yeah that just sucks Funny. <laughs> that's all I got man I don't know what else um yeah I, thought, I don't have I don't think I have anything <laughs> you know you, you partied out <laughs> so all right home front yeah home front's home front I'm not getting home front. I'm I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for the beta. I appreciate it, but I'll pass. Um did I play any of the games? I think that's pretty much it. Um Yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Uh yeah. Follow us on Twitter. I'm at Truaz. That's at J Spin. Uh play two drool. Bye guys. Yeah.